What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Gamer here, bringing another part of Red Dead Redemption 2 Super Freddy. I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm bringing you another part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys are, are enjoying the series so far. I can't get enough of it, so that's why I keep playing it. It's so much fun. There's so much story to it. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So let's go. Why do I waste my time? Why? You okay, bud? A bright bouncing boy. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of... European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, <laughs> like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No, no not whatsoever. No. <laughs> no, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, what? you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it. <laughs> I am about to prove that. You take <laughs> Jesus this, Christ. and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on both to destroy the battleships, Imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! Oh. And I have certificate. You avoid the mines, yes? Yeah? That is what controls are for. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves. Woo! This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Hoosier Hun. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an up. There, I'll go for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explode a sitting dock. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is damn. I damaged really the shit out of it. Remarkable. 
This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Og, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Oh, not that boat, goddamn. That's not the boat he was talking about. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Og, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. Where do these pop we out of? We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of Hercule rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. I didn't even touch the mines. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab. Back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Fantastic. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What Jesus are they doing Christ. here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Jesus Christ. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the she way. She does not fuck around. Just get going. I get... Yeah. All right. Sorry, Lenny. You gotta get out of here. She's in the road? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. I guess she's the lady boss or something. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. 
Some bad guys are gonna die, and I've left all my guns I in my horse. Are we getting off here? Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here! Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last word. Yeah, what are you waiting for? Get in there. Let's find our girl. Well, I'm going to borrow his gun here. Uh, L1. I'll do that. Do I have enough ammo? Yeah, I do. Kick the car. What the hell? Quit, Arthur. They probably heard us. You back the hell off right now. What the hell you think you're doing? There you go. That didn't go as planned. There, sort of didn't want to. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot him! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Hello, Mr. Foreman, you're done. All right, get after them. There, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, look at these cowards. They're heading down the hill to the... I can't see much. Come on, horse. That's one shit horse you got there. Hey, Mr. Foreman! Oh, Mr. Foreman. Uh, shut up. So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. I'll take uh, a Palooza. That's a weird name, but okay. Uh, all right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good go. look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away 
and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Mm. Finish the bastard off. I don't trust him enough. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. Who's that? You? Hey, Arthur. Come the gilded on. cage. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linder's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Wait, am I not clean enough? Oh, I should I probably need a good uh, face wash. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Please don't misplace my gun, it's a collector's. Mm, I like the way I'm dressed. So I wish I cut my hair before though. But... Uh, that's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, come down this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has a that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you joined the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. All right, this is going to be one hell of a party. And you've washed for the prima volta this mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Saint Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yes, but their young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. Now the good one. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. What's this door? All right, then. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to San Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to rob. Bill. Go make us some new friends. All right. Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one, just big enough for me to sip. Oh, so? Show I heard you went. These dancers, well, uh, I mean, if that's French culture for you, sign me Hello. up for French lessons. <laughs> Would you like tickets, gentlemen? What? I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux... I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint-Denis. But, Mr. Miller, the Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. And here in Saint-Denis, we have problems of our own. I beg to differ, sir. It is not a rural problem, but a human problem. An American problem. We want to end this century yet more besmirched with blood and guilt because of more sins? Do we wish to better ourselves? It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! <laughs> you are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... This man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Get your hands off me. 
You're a bit drunk. Let's move Come out of here. On, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! Oh! My lord, they're fantastic. So beautiful. Arthur probably never saw that before. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Monsieur, please. Please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. All that sermon remain undetected. Bonjour. Well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrible. Hey. <laughs> Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting.
All right, let's go back. Schmutzy, schmutzy. Of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. <laughs> All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly but I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> All right, guys, that's gonna be it for another Red Dead Redemption video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed I really enjoy making these, they're so fun. The game, there's just so much story to go, like with all the side missions and stuff, there's, it just never never ends. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, we really appreciate it. Go follow me everywhere, me time, gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here on YouTube.com forward slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, if you're paying me some time. So thank you so much guys for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye, get on.